Good morning, ladies. We have a special treat for you. We have with us today a group of the most real moms we could find. They have agreed to grace our runway with the latest fashions among real moms. <laughs> today you will get a sneak peek at what all the real moms of preschoolers are wearing during this season of life. You will find these fashions easily adaptable to your busy lifestyle, so sit back, relax, and see if you don't find yourself or someone you know among the models represented here. Okay. Our first model is Amber. She's wearing our June Cleaver look. She's wearing a lovely green boutique dress and matching shoes. She finds that they are the perfect shoes for corralling rambunctious preschoolers, or so she says. Her hair is elegantly up in a bumpet with every hair in place to make them flawless. She tossed a batch of muffins in before joining us and even has her feather duster ever vigilant for any speck that might mar her perfect household. She is the mom we all swore we would be before we had children and the mom we all secretly fear everyone except us truly is. <laughs> Next is Lynn. Lynn is our blue tape coming to play special mom. She can do it all. Her plate may appear full of One more thing, right, Lynn? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> she's the ultimate multitasker. As you can see, she can easily talk on the phone and vacuum while pushing children in the stroller with her baby on her back. <laughs> you could offer to give her hand with her diaper bag, but she'd probably turn you down. She doesn't need another hand when she has perfectly good feet. <laughs> Now we have joining us Amanda Lindley. Amanda is modeling our new mom look. I'm sure you can all recognize this one. She just had the first perfect baby. <laughs> Notice how she has a backpack full of books and magazines. She has read them all and has no fear for the future for she knows exactly what to expect from Junior at every stage of his life and the proper way to handle each situation. <laughs> and by the way, if you're having any problems at all with your third child, she'd be more than happy to meet with you after the show <laughs> and counsel you on how to best handle it. Notice also her ever-present baby book and camera. Her husband is going to uh, make her a hip holster for it, so she'll be ready at a moment's notice to record every first in her child's life. She's also purchased, washed, folded, and put away into labeled drawers all the clothes, baby clothes she will need until he's a year old. <laughs> okay, ladies, look out, here she comes. It's Randy. She is sporting our taxi mom look. As she whizzes by, you may be able to catch a glimpse of those adorable slippers. <laughs> she spends most of her time in the car, so why not be comfortable? A normal day could consist of dropping off the dry cleaning for her dear hubby, grocery shopping for the third time this week, <laughs> going by the post office, <laughs> home school for child number one, gymnastics for child number two, soccer for child number three, and dropping off that movie that was due two days ago. <laughs> Randy, did you ever get to watch the end of that movie? <laughs> of course, going through drive throughs for those tried and true happy meals that occasionally make her children happy and always leave you wondering where's the beef. We know where the french fries went. <laughs> Next is Melissa modeling our midnight, 2 a.m., 4 a.m. feeding mom. Notice that haggard look on her face from days of less sleep than she would have thought ever believed a person to survive on. She is easily recognizable by the glassy faraway look in her eyes when she can keep them open. Don't be offended if she falls asleep in the middle of conversation. She is just perfecting the art of cat napping. She can really hear every word you are saying. Proof is in the fact that she knows the exact moment the video her older children are watching ends, so and she can put in a new one with her eyes closed. She tries to use her time wisely, like reading, 
while feeding so that those hours aren't wasted. In fact, she has memorized those three lines of her book that she reads every night before falling asleep. And here's Nancy Sandenberg joining us modeling a new fashion. <laughs>